Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? Uh, it's been such a nice day and such a beautiful morning today. Uh, I went out in the morning and I was flying my drone. It was amazing. Anyways, um, first thing I want to talk about is Wales versus Portugal. Now, I've been seeing a lot in the news, uh, Wales versus Portugal, Ronaldo versus Bale, uh, so much is being said. Now, Ronaldo versus Bale, uh, is that comparable? Maybe, but I don't think it should be compared because Bell has only come on the scene a few years ago, uh, uh, maybe a couple of seasons ago, and Ronaldo has been on the scene since 2003-2004, uh, since United bought him, and then obviously it was his rise from there, whereas Gareth Bell only came into the scene since 2013, I guess, yeah, when he was loaned out and then back to Tottenham. Well, when Tottenham bought him from Southampton uh, as a youth player, but he has uh, emerged as a very highly talented player. But I don't think they both should be compared. Where Ronaldo seems more like the senior player uh, compared to Gareth Bale, where both are doing extremely well uh, in the uh, same club they play for. Uh, the, I think the main talking point should be uh, Wells uh, coming through the adversity uh, and coming through the hardship and for the first time uh, getting to the semi-final, even quarter-finals uh, and even last 16. I can't remember the last time Wells and uh, Wells were in last 16, uh, maybe 30, 40 years ago, probably never. That I'm not sure, so I can't say much on that. But quarterfinals and semi-finals is the first time in the history they've come to the uh, come to this point. And uh, being a British Asian, I can only support uh, Wells where England is out. Uh, we've had so many talking points and debates about that uh, having uh, Roy Hodgson uh, a, a bum more of a rat uh, uh, as a manager so rather not talk about that now and give the credit that Wells deserve uh, at this moment so I think it's not only about Bell as uh, Gareth Bell said it's about the team there's plenty of players, uh, Robson Canu, uh, Joe Allen, Gareth Bell, uh, so many of them, they're all under fire, they're all on fire uh, at this moment. So I really hope, uh, being a Ronaldo fan, but then again I've got to be loyal towards my side, because uh, Wells is in United Kingdom, so I really hope Wells actually go to the finals and uh, beat either France or Germany that that will be a historic moment an epic moment uh, in the history of United Kingdom and Wales whereas Portugal have won the European Cup before and Wales have never won it so I, I would really want the underdog as I always support the underdog I would really want the underdogs to emerge as the winner just like um, a lot of weird th things have been happening like Leicester City winning the Premier League which was completely out of the blue and um, sudden shock to everybody uh, nobody ever thought Leicester City who just got promoted uh, one year before that, two years before that they were struggling year before, uh, the season before and all of a sudden they come to win the win the Premier League so I really hope uh, Wales win the European Cup uh, I'm sure they've they've got the hunger which England was lacking because England didn't have anything 
uh, to be one of the best teams because they were one of the worst teams, in fact, because Hodgson couldn't do anything to his team, tactically, um, motivational, uh, spiritual, anything you say, they were lacking everywhere. So, unless they get a good manager, a high caliber manager, I was hoping either Pep Guardiola, Mourinho, or Conte, somebody of that caliber, but they got Hodgson, who only managed Fulham before that. Uh, anyways, guys, the the only thing I would request you guys, um, I want to know your pick. If you're picking Portugal or if you're picking Wales, uh, let me know. Comment down below and uh, turn on your notifications somewhere around there uh, subscribe somewhere around here and please leave a like and if you don't want to leave a like if you can't leave a like don't leave a dislike please because it actually doesn't help at all it messes things up for us people like us and um, if you leave a like it helps us a lot so there's no point hating because I've never misled anybody to anything and uh, like I said if you want the links I can't put links like before in the description because uh, YouTube suspended me for that so uh, if you want the links to watch the match live uh, on a live stream uh, you got a private message me and I'll send you a link so that's the only way I can do it so if you guys do want to watch the match uh, private message me and I'll send you the link I'll more than happy uh, to send the link but there's no point in disliking somebody's video where it's only going to hurt them uh, and there's no point being a hater it's only going to hurt yourself because mentally you become a hater I'm picking Wells um, my last prediction was quite horrible uh, I said um, Italy to win where Italy couldn't win but then again it was a competitive match it went to penalties I thought Italy was going to win by a couple of goals didn't happen but um, it was a great game but this time I'm hoping Wales to either comfortably win it or take it to extra time or penalties if if Wales don't win comfortably by uh, again a couple of goals then it should go to extra time and penalties unless uh, Bale or Ronaldo nick it for either team country anyways um, like I said, uh, I've started my smile project, smile a day project. Uh, I'll be uploading as much as I can. Until then, keep smiling and um, like, uh, comment down below, subscribe, notification for future updates. I'll see you guys in the next video.